If you're like me, you've got stacks and stacks of books taking a lot of shelf space. Some you read, some you haven't read, and some you want to read again. But in today's digital age of smartphones, tablets, and e-readers, I have to ask, do people still read paper books? Or do they just become a hassle once you get used to an e-reader? Well, one thing you could do is scan all those books yourself with a portable scanner like this and make them digital. But seriously, who has time for that? And that, my friends, is where $1scan.com comes into the picture. It's an online service that allows the users to send in their own books, business documents, and photos and have them scanned into a digital file. It's a great service for those books you can't find in the ebook format or if you just don't want to carry around heavy books anymore. Some people might use $1scan to archive and preserve everything forever. Now, because it's in a digital format, you'll also make the document searchable via optical character recognition for easy future reference. So here's what you have to do. First, you have to put in an order on the site and enter how many sets you'll be sending in. For books, one set equals to 100 pages and each set costs $1. From there, pack up your items and ship it to $1 Scan, who will follow up with a confirmation of its arrival and condition. Bear in mind, you'll be responsible for covering the shipping costs, so the heavier the book, the more you'll have to pay for shipping. Here's a tip, if you have a hardcover, you might want to rip those off before shipping to save a couple bucks. Once $1 Scan gets the book, they'll cut up the spine, start the scanning process, and then check the quality of the scan. A PDF file of the book is created for you to download. If you're reading on a specific device like an iPad or Kindle, you can also use their free Fine Tune service to optimize the reading experience. Personally, I don't think the PDF is as good as the EPUB format used by both the Kobo and Sony e-reader. But then again, with PDF, you still get a digital copy. But if creating your own book is on your life's to-do list, you can do that online too with blurb.ca. It's a creative publishing service that's simple to use and can make anyone into an author. What I like about blurb.ca is that you can easily take your Instagram and Facebook photos and turn them into a 7 by 7 inch book, perfect for your coffee table. Blurb.ca will connect with your Facebook or Instagram account so you can select albums and photos you want included. From there, you just need to fine tune the layout, rearrange the photos, and then order your book. You'll receive it in the mail within 7 to 10 days. If you're more of a blogger than a social photographer, you can even turn your blog into a book. Blurb supports a variety of blogging sites like Blogger, TypePad, WordPress, and LiveJournal. Does anyone still use LiveJournal? Anyways, you can import directly into Booksmart, one of Blurb's online bookmaking tools, and edit it in real time. But we're not just talking about soft and hardcover books. With Blurb, you can create a graphically rich ebook for the iPad. You can bring your books to life by adding rich media like audio and video and then preview it on a simulated iPad display. So, whether you want to go analog to digital or digital to analog, $1 Scan and Blurb.ca have got you covered. Hmm, perhaps it's time I pen my own biography, The Trials and Tribulations of Andy Barrar. I got some stories to tell. <laughs>